So this is for sure one of my most favorite events is the running the the um, the rec MMA out in Sault Ste. Marie. I had a great opportunity to ref some yeah, of you, the fights. You're refing this one, yeah. This oh show. man, it's such a cool experience to be a referee. In in the like in the, the cage. One too, oh like. yeah, you at this one. I, I, I don't know if I was it this not not, not, not this no, fight. But, no. Sioux, though, you did. but but uh, yeah, but yeah. I've I've been the the referee and it's uh it's such an incredible experience mm -hmm. to be side by side with these fighters. It's uh, unreal. The referee here, it's Mike Templeton, good 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 uh, great guy, and uh, such a fun time. He he and I were both uh, refing uh, in the Sioux. Look at you. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I don't want to high five, and yeah, then yeah. she was like, handshake. I was like, sure. <laughs> like, I'm not high fiving you at the beginning. This is my second MMA fight. This is at 1:35. So hence the blonde hair is gone. The blonde hair is gone. <laughs> Emma just bringing it, eh? Oh yeah, and there. Now my hand's broken. On the first punch. Just, wow. Yeah. No. Just missed her face and it rolled it broke. Oh. So yeah, if you actually watch that slow motion, mm -hmm. I knee her forearm into her oh, head. Which is nice. Yeah. It's a hundred percent unintentional. No, yeah. Your hand's not broken, just keep using it. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> That's how it works. Oh. I got one of these little boops here too, that you're a little like boop. <laughs> Where? The crowd in the <laughs> suit the, the, <laughs> the, the energy yeah. here was on She's a national yeah. wrestler too. Yeah. So <clears throat> I felt everybody's like, they called my name, three people cheered. Yeah. Oh, oh beautiful. Fell you down. And the crowd goes silent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, what's what crickets in the arena. <laughs> That's what's tough, man. Like when you, like, someone's got to win, someone's got to lose, yeah. and you're putting it on the line. I remember telling Nick, yeah. I'm like, my hand's broken. He's like, oh, goes and tells the doctor. <laughs> I think it's harder for the hometown hero to put on a show because I just feel like you have so much energy and pressure. Yeah. And you have to make a statement. But man, like that's what's great about fighting in your hometown is you you, you do have everyone's support and they just they just want to sure. see you do well. Like they're yeah. not like it's a pretty special feeling. I like I've been able to compete in California in front of like thousands of people, and you just kind of like you're just another person. But man, I remember the first time I got to fight in Ottawa at a Ground Games, and there was like 300 people there, and it was the craziest feeling to have the crowd just go bonkers you know it's nothing like like when you're in front of thousands of people it just kind of you know it becomes like almost like white noise yeah for sure but when you're in an audience of like two three hundred and they're just going <laughs> insane the energy is so electric it's uh and they know you and you know them so it's like it makes everything different oh <laughs> it's man so much more intense oh yeah for sure